Hello everyone and welcome to this Power BI series which is basic to advanced level. That's the first video in the series and I'm trying my best to um, you know train you or guide you on Power BI. Let us see a basic thing about Power BI. Power BI is a visualization tool uh, where you can do many many things. It is a business intelligence tool, visualization tool, data cleaning tool or you can see as a data modeling tool, publishing, many many names are there for Power BI. But um, in this video, I'm just focusing on visualization since it's a very first video. I just want to make you, you know, very familiar with Power BI so that it is easy for you to understand. Now, that's the first Power BI window, which is a user interface. I'm not showing you the downloadage, downloading and installation part that you can see by yourself or later on. So right now, what I want to show is I'll be just bringing data from some Excel file and creating some visuals, some charts and they are so easy to create in Power BI. I think it is one of the easiest tool available in the market. Let us see that practically. So I have some data. I'll just click on get data uh, and click on this Excel file. I can bring data from 99 data sources. So I'll just click on Excel and I have kept file into one folder. So I'll pick up this sample superstore. That's a very simple file sample superstore and I'll just click on open this file is having uh, many sheets so it is having three sheets i suppose which is orders uh, people and returns sheet so when i import that file uh, this power bi will ask me which sheet do you want to import so i'll pick up this order sheet okay the order sheet is having data approximately 10000 records and i'll just click on load button directly i'll click on load button what is this sample superstore uh, many people might be aware but um, let's consider we have amazon flipkart or big bazaar these are some places where people go and order the products and whenever they order they fill the information so all the information is collected into this sample superstore file let me show you that file so once it is loaded on the right hand side you can see these are name of the columns these are all the name of the columns what is the data in that file in that sheet so if i click on this data on the left hand side let me show you what are the column names so i have the row id order id order date ship date ship mode customer id and so on so in short if i can say details about the customer details about the order everything is given so here you can see country city state postal code product everything so on the right hand side i have some numerical columns let's say sales profit quantity discount this is the perfect data for training purpose when i can say because it contains date text number and geographical data type geographical means city state country postal code anything so to create a report i'll just click on this report option here and now suppose i'm very new to power bi i don't know how to create any chart but i know the column names suppose i want to uh, you know create a pie chart for let's say region and sales so very very simple so I'll just double click. I'll just click on this and minimize. I'll click on this, minimize, click on this, minimize. So I know the column name. So just you can follow me. I can just double click on the blank space here. When I double click here, I can type something and create a chart. So I'll just type here region. Okay, region is a column name where we have east, south, west region. I'll just zoom the screen so it is visible properly. Yeah, so region sales. Okay, I want to see the region sales in pi okay that's it so you just type the column names region and sales are the name of the columns and pi is the type of chart so i'll just select the first option and the pie chart is created it is ready so if you accept this you can just click on this ok button though there's no name given here but you can just click on ok button and that's a simple pie chart created now let us see one more um, i want to create um, there are shipping modes if you remember when you order something on amazon we have shipping mode let's say same day delivery second day delivery and so on so what i want i want to create a donut chart for that shipping mode so i can just double click here type here ship mode that's a column name ship mode and i can just type here profit in donut in donut and i can select and this donut chart is created i'll just click on ok button so this is how it is created now uh, let me show you the column names on the right hand side okay just observe there are 21 columns you cannot remember all the names but i know the names here so i have category i have region uh, country customer discount postal code and many more things so there's a column named as subcategory okay it is having different types of subcategories like chair furnitures and etc 
So what I want is I want to create here a funnel chart. Let's say a funnel chart for subcategory and sales. So I can just double click here and I can just type here subcategory. Subcategory sales in funnel. Okay, select the option funnel and I'll just click on this button here and that's a simple funnel chart created for all the subcategories. Same way, one more, let's say I want to create a map of United States and the data should be for profit. I already have loaded data, so I can just double click here and I'll type the name of the column. State is the name of the column. Sales is name of the column in map. And I can select this option and just click on this OK button. So it will take some time depending upon your internet connection. Uh, a very nice map with dotted map will be uh, you know, uh, visible here. So that's a United States map. It is taking some time. So meanwhile, if I want to create a, some, you can see that's a map which is created. So meanwhile, if I want to create a tree map for let's say uh, subcategory um, profit or sales. So I'll just double click here, type here as subcategory, subcategory and I'll type here as sales in tree map. And I'll just click here and I'll just click on OK button. So that's a simple tree map that is very easily created here. Now uh, let's create one more chart here. That's a line chart. Suppose I want to create here a line chart for uh, line chart is always created, mostly created for date field. So I want to create a line chart for let's say profit by order date. So I'll just double click here and I'll just rename here as profit by year of order date in line okay so i'm trying to you know frame a uh, you know sentence so that it creates a line chart here so this is a line chart and the profit you can see it is increasing by every year 2014 to 2017 so it is very very simple uh, leave about the cosmetic part the size and the thing that can be managed but i'm trying to say if you're a beginner if you're new to power bi and if you think you should learn upgrade on this 80% of the training is just using button clicks, no using keyboard. So you don't have to write some lengthy calculation functions. Everything can be done using button clicks. So I hope you have understood how to create simple visuals and charts in Power BI. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel for the coming videos on Power BI. That's all for this video.